The exercise machine. Nolik? I'm not here. You haven't seen me today at all. What's up with you? There's gonna be this race and it starts really soon. It's the boys against the girls, their team against ours. And what? And what? I'm the smallest one on the team. And I'll let everyone down. That's why I'm hiding. Cause I don't want my team to lose. You can't just give up. You can learn to run faster if you want. You think? Of course. That's what exercisers are for. You need a treadmill to get stronger. Class! And where can we get one? We'll make it ourselves. Exercise machines were invented so people could work out without going outside. For instance, a treadmill lets you walk or run for a very long time while moving in one place. A treadmill's main part is a conveyor belt that is driven around by an electric motor. Today's smart treadmills have the ability to measure your speed, the distance that you've run, your heart rate, and even the results of previous workouts. There, it's all done. Tideesh! It's time to start your first training session. How will I learn to run really fast? If you keep turning, it's so slowly. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, that's a little too fast. Oh, sorry about that. I got it. That's what you call training. Tom Thomas, so, what do you think? Maybe I trained enough? Not yet. You need to keep going. Oh, I can't do this any longer. Let's stop. Whew. No way. Turn the handle. Yeah. There are all sorts of exercise machines to help you improve your health. This one simulates skiing. It exercises your arms, legs, and heart. And this one you can row like a rowboat. And if pedaling's your thing, an exercise bike lets you get a great workout, no matter how bad the weather is outside. There are also weight training machines. These machines can help you build big, strong muscles and tone the shape of your body. However, you can still get great exercise without these bulky machines. There are plenty of much simpler devices that you can find room for in any house. Like a chin-up bar for doing pull-ups, a wall-mounted ladder or rope for climbing, or jump ropes, weights, hula hoops, or balls. The important thing is to just exercise. <laughs> okay, girls, <laughs> hold on to your hats. Oh, no, how scary. We'll show them who's gonna win. Right, Tula? I'm gonna do my best. Tula will definitely beat Nolik. We gotta step it up. It's time to get this race going. Runners, are you ready? I'm ready. ready. On your marks, everyone get set, go! go are gonna win. Nolik will never catch up with Tula. Oh my gosh! Nolik! He appears to be gaining ground. God, look at him! He's looking for the head! Go on, Nolik, go! You got it, buddy! Come on, buddy! They look at him, he's flying! All of that work on the exercise machine really helped! Nolik, where are you going? The finish is there! Thank you, Nolik. You're my hero. Team won the race? We did! It's a tie! Tom Thomas, that's just not fair! It was a tie! And a very noble one! 
All right, you just wait for the next race. Nolik's gonna win it big time. Now it's time for you all to get up on that winner stand. <coughs> oh no, all the first places are taken. For you, we'll find one. The umbrella. Well, so why isn't it working? We'll figure it out, colleague. Let's start by disconnecting the hoist. Otherwise, you know... <laughs> ah, Tula, you're finally here. Where have you been? Looking for an umbrella. What? What do you need an umbrella for? Because it'll be pouring rain today. Where'd you get that idea? I heard it. You're leaving already? Yeah, I have to wash the car before I go in. Ah, then I'll take an umbrella to work. Mm hmm? <laughs> you know the omen, dear. Once you wash your car... It'll rain? <laughs> <gasps> oh! Tom Thomas's mother was just joking. You don't joke with omens. It's going to be raining for sure, but it's no big deal if you've got an umbrella. <laughs> Umbrellas are an ancient invention. They're almost 3,000 years old. In China and Egypt, umbrellas were made out of leaves, feathers, and paper. Servants carried them over their kings to protect them from the hot sun. When umbrellas became fashionable in Europe, people started using them as cover from rain. The most convenient are folding umbrellas. Their design is simple. The edge of the fabric is attached to ribs. When you open an umbrella, the ribs spread out in all directions and stretch the fabric over your head. Automatic umbrellas can open very quickly. Just press the button and it pops right open, keeping your clothes dry as if there was no rain at all. An unopened umbrella can be used as a cane. And if the umbrella's handle is also collapsible, then it can be stored in a bag when it isn't needed. Well, hmm, the contacts are normal. And all of the wires are in place. Then what's the problem? I don't know. We're gonna have to test it. Tula, put away your umbrella. But the omen calls for rain. Ah, one omen doesn't count. Manipulator, get me a screwdriver. Understood. Executing. Oh, the manipulator's joints are creaking. See, that's an omen of rain, too. <laughs> it's an omen that it's time for a little oil. Want to help me? Just a sec. I'll help you. Well, so much for that omen. It's going to rain anyhow, I know it. Just take a look at those flowers drooping. Isn't that an omen? The reason that they're drooping is because Elisa is on vacation. And my colleague forgot to water that plant. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll finish the repair and I'll water them. I promise. Ah! This is the reason that it broke. This damaged part has to be replaced. Come on and help me. I'll get a replacement from the warehouse. Fire's flying low, isn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what? When birds start flying really low to the ground. <laughs> Fire isn't a bird. But he's flying low, didn't you see? Tula, give me a sledgehammer, would you? And put away the umbrella already. Look, there isn't a cloud in the sky. That's because it's morning. You have to know this, Owen. <laughs> When there's no clouds in the morning, then in the afternoon, it's sure to... We're standing inside with a roof over our head. It can't rain! Look, it's raining! You see? I told you so, and you didn't believe me.
least I won't need to water the plants. You're right about that. Let's walk together. Vitamins. Seven times five is thirty-five. Seven times six. Um, uh, wait a sec. Uh, it's uh. John Thomas, are you ready? For what? For a war. Did you forget? Oh, yeah. I'm having such problems with my memory. I keep trying to memorize this table, but I can't. <laughs> if you want to improve your memory, you need vitamins. Vitamins? Well, how's it going, Tom Thomas? Not well. My memory's just terrible. Studying's getting me nowhere. Hey, don't be discouraged. We'll make your memory better with some vitamins. Oh, now you about vitamins. Uh, and who else? Just a school friend. Well, all right. Vitamins are very important for people's health, even though you don't need much of them. For instance, vitamin A is necessary for good eyesight and normal growth. Vitamin C helps keep you from getting sick. Vitamin D makes your teeth and bones stronger. Usually, people get the vitamins they require from a diet of fruits, dairy, vegetables, and other healthy foods. But if someone still isn't getting the vitamins their body needs, then doctors recommend taking special vitamin pills. some vegetables, and some fruit, and some berries. They have a lot of vitamins, too. Forget about it. We're strengthening your memory with vitamins. And you'll study the multiplication table at the same time. All right, then. There are three cherries in each pile. Tom Thomas eats five piles. Go on, eat, eat. So. Here's the question. How many cherries did Tom Thomas eat all together? I don't know. What'd you say? I said I don't know. Try counting those pits, then. <laughs> huh. Fifteen. That's right. And that means that three times five equals fifteen. Now, try my problem. Tom Thomas ate three pairs of apples. That's easy. The answer's six. I just couldn't find more apples for that one. Tom Thomas, quit slacking off. To get this problem right, you have to eat the apples. They have vitamins. Anyhow, we don't have enough carrots for me to learn how to multiply by nine. All right, then. I'll help you. To multiply two by three, all you need to do is just add three twos together. It's much harder to multiply a number by nine. That takes too much time to add. That's why at schools they want you to memorize the table. But there's a simple way to multiply by nine without the table or a calculator. Let's say you need to multiply the number three by nine. Put your hands face up in front of you. Now, find the third finger from the left and bend it down. So what do we see? There are two fingers to the left of the bent finger and seven fingers to the right. Two and seven means that the answer is 27. You got it? Great! Let's do another problem. What is seven times nine? Here are six fingers and here are three. That's right! The answer is 63. Thomas, did you eat all of that? But you're the one that told me you need to eat vitamins. That's why I got these vitamins for you. That little? What do you mean, little? There's enough in this bottle for a month. 
Go ahead, try one. They're very good for you. They taste good, too. <laughs> right. Better than an onion. <laughs> or radish. <laughs> Time another one? No, that's enough. You shouldn't take more than one vitamin every day. I remember where I saw this. I saw the same kind of bottle with a green lid over at Katya's. Speaking of memory, let's check your multiplication table. Let's say that you and Katya are each taking one vitamin a day. So, how many have you eaten after nine days? The answer is 18. <laughs> well done. It's getting better. Vitamins really work. Chocolate. Tom Thomas, unwrap it already. In the morning, Nolik. I really want to see the toy that's inside. Be patient, Nolik. That's all. I'm going to bed. Please don't touch it, okay? And you won't open it without me, right? That's the deal. Oh, no. Good night, Nolik. Uh huh. And what are you doing in here? Me? Well, I was. Oh, it's a chocolate ball with a toy inside. How interesting. Yeah, totally. Let's unwrap it and take a look. We can't. Not until Tom Thomas comes in the morning. But if we're real careful, he won't notice. A chocolate confection. Yeah. A piece of perfection. <laughs> Perhaps I'll oh. give that shining <laughs> bright. I am an affection for the chocolate confection. All that I want is to take a bite. A bite. A bite. Well, yeah. We sure took a look. Tom Thomas won't be happy at all when he finds out you touched a chocolate ball. And you? Like you didn't touch it? I didn't. Oh, then what's that, Nolik? <gasps> chocolate? Absolutely. It's 100% natural milk chocolate. It says so right here. The key ingredient in chocolate is cocoa beans. They are roasted, crushed, and ground. After that, the ground beans are pressed to extract the oil from them. If you mix butter, cocoa, and sugar, you'll get dark chocolate. And if you add some milk to it, then you'll get milk chocolate. Then you just warm it up, pour it into molds, and cool it down. You can add raisins or nuts into chocolate. Sometimes chocolate is even made with flavors like flowers or salt. Chocolate wasn't originally for eating. It was used in a drink made by mixing roasted beans with water and then adding hot peppers. Not every adult could drink it, let alone a child. Today, chocolate is a favorite treat the world over, for children and adults alike. How can we put it back together? How about scotch tape? Come on! We'll start by warming up the chocolate so it softens up, and then use that to make a new ball. And then to make it hard again... Yeah, we just cool it off. My chocolate confection has got an imperfection. Half of it's gone into thin air. But this is expected when chocolate goes unprotected. First, you have got it, then it's not there. Not there. Not there. Tiddish! Done. Let's put in the toy. But we haven't even looked at it yet. Oh, it's so pretty. Tom Thomas is gonna love it. Oh, wait! Oh, what do you think of this idea? I've got a new confection of chocolate perfection. Safe in its rubber shine. But I can't take off the wrapper without Nolik. You really can't do it without him? I can't. I told Nolik I wouldn't. Mmm, 
your chocolate is gonna be delicious. Go on, you can eat a little. Hmm. If you say so, I'll eat the chocolate. But we won't open the toy without Nolik. Mmm. Good chocolate. Come on, don't you want to know what the toy is? We won't tell. All right, just a peek, and we'll close it right up. What is this for? Teesh! Nolik? Really? How did you get in there? Surprise! Hmm. You were in the container, the container was in the chocolate ball, and the yep. ball... That's just impossible. Ah, he went and got you two to help. We helped a little. Hang on, Nolik. You promised not to touch the chocolate till morning. And you promised not to open the toy without me, right? Oh, my goodness! <laughs> the submarine. And the submarine disappeared into the ocean deep, leaving the vicious sharks high and dry. Ugh, that cartoon was super! Class! Splendid! Uh, I wish we had a submarine, too. What do you say we make one? But we don't know anything about building a submarine! What makes you say that? <laughs> the most important thing for a submarine is to be airtight, so that it's impossible for water to leak in from outside. And inside, there needs to be a reserve of air for breathing. For a submarine to go underwater, it uses special containers. When the containers are filled with water, the submarine becomes heavy and starts submerging. When it's time to take the submarine back up to the surface, the water in the containers is switched back for air and the light submarine climbs. And what are we going to make it out of? Out of, uh, broken toys. And where are we going to sail her? In the aquarium. Silly. Nolik's little and he's not scared of this. Yeah! Well, all right. Cast off the lines! The who? Unhook the rope, it means. Ah! You should have just said that. Are you ready? Time to take her down. Hooray! We're sailing! It's just beautiful in here. There they are, the vicious sharks. Time to scare them. Turning right. Go away for that one. You can't escape <gasps> from us. Please stop it. Come on, come on, come stop on. Stop torturing the fish. It's terrible. <laughs> what? Oh, oh no. Well, I don't know. There's algae wrapped around the propeller. I want my mom's here. Just be calm. There's no need to panic. Let's try taking her up. It's not working. Of course. No wonder I was scared. And so what do we do now? How about we open the hatch door? No, we can't. The water would pour into here, and then we would all drown. Well, in that case, I don't know. I need to come up with a plan. Yeah. <sighs> the world's first practical submarine was built almost 400 years ago in England. It was made out of wood and couldn't dive very deep at all. Inside the vessel, rowers sat with oars, so it couldn't move very quickly either. About 200 years later, the oars were replaced with a propeller. But the propeller on that submarine could only be turned by hand, making it a slow submarine as well. Any good swimmer could easily outrace it. It was only with the appearance of electric motors that submarines started submerging to great depths and moving through the water at very high speed. Today's modern military submarines use nuclear reactors for power. These submarines can stay underwater for months without resurfacing. Fire, can you come up with your plan quicker? Because we're running out of air. 
fire. We're gonna suffocate. No, we won't, mate. Chances are better the fish will eat us. You never should have teased them. Yeah, we're in trouble. Didn't I warn you? Didn't I? And you wouldn't listen. You did everything just the opposite. Wait, it might work. Let's rewire the battery the opposite way. We should switch the plus and minus. How come? Because then the motor will start to turn the other way, forcing the algae to unwind. Finish! Hey, quit it! We won't bother you anymore, all right? Peace. Thank you so much, Tula. You really saved us. It's just because I was the one that was most frightened. No, it's because when things got really scary, you kept your cool about you. Wouldn't it be splendid if next time we built a helicopter? The spider. Chusaka, Chusaka. Tom Thomas, what are you doing? I'm petting Chusaka. How come? Because huh? <laughs> it makes her feel good. Just don't rub her fur off. <laughs> You're just jealous, guys, because you don't have any pets of your own. What do you mean? We've got a pet. You who Buggy! Buggy! She was in the vent the last time I saw her. Hmm. Buggy! Come on out. We need to talk. Here. This is our friend, Buggy. Wait, this insect is really your pet? Ha! <laughs> what a joke. Buggy's a spider. She's not an insect at all. But isn't a spider a kind of insect? Insect is the term used for mosquitoes, flies, beetles, dragonflies, butterflies, ants, and many others. Spiders certainly look a lot like insects. They have very similar legs. But spiders aren't insects. They're arachnids. Insects have six legs, while spiders have eight of them. Many insects can fly, but spiders can't. But spiders can move spider webs. They may look beautiful, but really they are traps for hunting insects. How come your buggy has five legs instead of eight of them? I don't know. <laughs> she lost them somehow. Anyhow, she can do lots of tricks. Hello, buggy. How do you do? We know how to do that trick. Chusaka, shake. Just see that? And I bet your buggy can't do this. Chusaka, sit. Buggy, sit. Why aren't you sitting? Lie down. Your turn. Lie down. Watch me. Like this. Lie down. She can't do that trick. Her fifth leg must be in the way. Lie down. Lie down, I told you. What, what kind of pet are you anyway? You can't even do a simple trick. Hey, where are you going? Wait, Buggy, don't go. Nolik, you should be ashamed of yourself. But why is she acting so stupid? <gasps> Didn't you say that she was your friend? And what? Well, you shouldn't yell at your friends like that. She's right. What kind of friend are you? I'll go find her. And apologize. <laughs> Buggy! Do you hear me? Where am I? Ow! Well, it hurts. Hey! Can you hear me? Somebody help me, please! Buggy, is that you? I think I broke my leg. Could you help me out, Buggy? You don't want to help me. You're right. I don't deserve it because I've been a really bad friend. People like having pets to live with them in their homes. Dogs, cats, hamsters, parrots, fish, turtles. Some folks even get crocodiles. And the bigger the animal, the more work it takes to take proper care of it. But every pet needs love and care, no matter what size it is. 
Pixies like to have pets, too. All sorts of little bugs, spiders, and flies. Pixies treat them as friends and take care of them. Of course, a little spider isn't as smart as a dog, but they also can be trained. There are some Pixies who have managed to domesticate such big insects as bees, beetles, and dragonflies. Pixies fly on their backs and use them to carry heavy loads. That's it. I'm stuck all alone in here. Forever. Simka? Oh, how did you find me? Buggy let me down here. Buggy, you didn't ditch me. I'm sorry. I promise I'll never ever yell at you again. Ow, my leg. Hang in there, Nolik. We'll get you out. It was so scary. You could have died down there. Yeah, I almost died. But you know what? Buggy saved me. Yeah, that's cooler than learning how to shake hands. Buggy sure is a true friend indeed. Does your leg really hurt a lot? Ah! <gasps> <laughs> nah, it doesn't really hurt. I'm fine. I was just joking. The Bird Feeder. What? Oh, again! Outside the window! There! Huh, a little bird. He's beautiful! Uh-huh, only he looks sad. Just wait till he sees what I'm gonna do! <laughs> I guess he doesn't think you're funny. That's because he's cold out there. He wants to eat, that's all. Maybe we should make a feeder for the poor bird. Do you know how to make a bird feeder? No, but we both know someone who knows everything. In the winter, it's not easy for birds to find food under the snow. Luckily, many people come to the rescue. They build little houses for the birds, designed to hold food. The name for these houses are naturally bird feeders. Bird feeders can be made out of wood, plastic, or even something as simple as a milk or juice carton. Building a bird feeder by hand isn't hard to do at all. But building it is only one part of the work. What's most important is remembering to keep it filled with food. Well, shall we start? got an idea. <laughs> Adisa, I need some of your food for a little bird. You aren't greedy. Greedy! 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 I didn't know Adisa is greedy. Adis is greedy. You need to learn how to share. Adis is greedy. What, like there's not enough food? Not enough food, not enough food, not enough food, not enough. Wow, now there's two of them out there. Eat, there's enough food for everybody. Poor Adisa, poor Adisa. Let's bring him in here. We can open Adisa's a restaurant a for poor birds. little bird. Why did you scare the little birds away? That feeder's for them, get it? Just fly away. Shoo! Uh, 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 uh. He's bullying our friends. Hey, you leave! Leave! You'll never chase him away now. We'll see about that. Aha! Serves you right, Pigeon. It's not nice to bully little guys. Yeah, and how about big guys? It's all right to bully them. The poor Pigeon also wants some food. Food! Food! You sure? 
Sure! Winter can be beautiful, but also very cold. Animals have different ways to prepare for when the weather gets cold. Some birds gather into flocks and migrate to where it's warmer. You could almost say they're flying to a resort. Squirrels, hamsters, and chipmunks collect and store nuts, mushrooms, and pine cones. There are many people who don't have pantries that are as well stocked. Badgers and bears eat a lot of extra food in the fall and then go to sleep in their dens and burrows for the whole winter. Fish also sleep in the winter, only they're at the bottom of rivers and lakes. Frogs, snakes, and even wasps burrow in the ground, while hares, foxes, and wolves grow thick coats that protect them from the freezing cold. Although it isn't easy for them to find food. So that will be your feeder, and that new one will be for the little birds. Hey, are you taking their food again? There you go. Huh. But those little birds, they'll probably never come back here. Look, Nolik! <gasps> they came back! Ah, uh, they're full and happy. Mm. It's so nice. Tadish! Tadish! The toothpaste. Astronaut food! Ready! Rocket ready! And who's flying to the sun? Me! I'm ready! Ooh. A real hero! Tom Thomas! Did you see? There it is. You nearly spoiled a vital experiment. Of global, interplanetary significance. Spoiled what? Our scientific testing of the latest toothpaste formula. I will brush my teeth with it. And I, as chief dentist, will be monitoring the testing. And so, I don't want you even touching it. Great. How am I supposed to fly to the sun now? Strange. They make that toothpaste for kids. So? Then why is your mom using your dad then? That's right. I'm gonna go tell her. Mom! That new toothpaste, I should test it. No, I'm using your dad, because he's a responsible person. And so am I. I'm very responsible. Who knew? Your room's a total mess. I had no time to clean it. You didn't water the plant. I forgot. Did you brush your teeth? Yeah, for a whole minute, too. You're supposed to brush your teeth for two minutes, in the morning and at night. Sorry. <laughs> Great toothpaste, honey. If you don't want to get a toothache, you need to take good care of your teeth by brushing them with a toothbrush and toothpaste. Toothpaste helps remove food that's stuck on your teeth, kills harmful bacteria, and keeps your teeth strong, healthy, and beautiful. Toothpaste should be in every house. Adults should use toothpaste made for adults, and kids should use toothpaste that is healthy and safe for younger teeth. It's important to make sure you're using a toothpaste that's right for your age. Tom Thomas, don't touch it! It's for the experiment! I'm just gonna smell it. Don't worry. Well... It smells like bubble gum. Hey! Just a peek at the collar, that's all. Come on, do you want to spoil the experiment? Now put that toothpaste right back. Hmm. Again? <laughs> well now, so we caught you again. I want to try this toothpaste so bad, but how? Well, what if you want? 
Do you know how to brush your teeth correctly? Let's check. First, take your toothbrush and rinse it with water. Then squeeze on a bit of toothpaste. A small pea-sized drop is all that you'll need. Now one, brush the outside of your front teeth up and down. Two, brush the backs of those teeth from the gums on down. Three, open your mouth real wide and brush the teeth in the back. These are the teeth that you use for chewing. Go back and forth, over and over. You should brush a full two minutes, no less. Now it's time to rinse out the toothpaste from your mouth and clean the brush. That's right, the brush needs to be cleaned too. And please, don't be lazy. If you brush your teeth two times a day, they'll stay in great shape for many years to come. Mom, Dad, see? I've done everything. Well done. And I promise that I'm going to brush my teeth the right way as long as I need to and... And twice a day? Only let me be a part of your awesome experiment, please, would you? Well, I don't know. I think we could try it. Oh. What? Well, we also have this foam for teeth. Who's going to test that? Me! A real hero. How many ways did we try to get him to brush his teeth before that didn't work? We never sparked his imagination before. Your idea about the experiment was brilliant. Simka, do you think we should tell him? The answer is no. We can't disrupt the experiment. <laughs> The dishwasher. Can't catch me. You won't catch me. <laughs> Enjoying yourself without a care in the world. Why? We have more cares than both of you together. Yeah, anyone can see that. Wanna bet me? How about we try doing your job and you try doing ours? And whoever loses has got to grant the other's wish. We have a dishwasher here in the kitchen that isn't working, and you're distracting us with your nonsense. Wait a sec. Let's do it. Find the broken part. Good as done. Find it where? <laughs> you're the adults now. Go and find it. Just look out for yourselves. And you kids, time for school. And I better not hear that you were misbehaving. Was I there when they taught us about dishwashers at school? <laughs> the main element of a dishwashing machine is this part called the sprayer which looks like a propeller. After the dishwasher's pump delivers water, it is warmed, mixed with detergent, and then pushed up with high pressure. That makes the propeller spin very quickly, so it can shoot out the water with a force strong enough to wash all of the dirt off the plates and glasses. But it does it carefully, so that dishes not only come out sparkling, but unbroken as well. Is this a parent-teacher conference? It's not! It's an experiment! For today, I'm Simka. <laughs> and I'm Nolik. All right, who's ready to tell the rest of the class what we studied yesterday? Simka. Yesterday? Oh! You forgot. Be seated. That's an F. Mm-hmm. I think the problem is in the control panel. I wonder if the dishwasher ran out of water. Ah. Papus, don't argue with your wife. Yoink. This one is working. And so is this. wash those dishes. But that would be cheating. No one will find out. The dishes will all be nice and clean, and bam, we're the winners. <laughs> Check it out, we are all done. How come the indicators aren't lit? Fixies have to fix things. And what do you call this? And you, did you both go to school today? Of course we did. I, I mean Simka, got an F for her answer. Well, thanks, Masia. And did you play with Tom Thomas? You know that we don't show ourselves to people. 
Tom Thomas isn't any human. He's our friend. Either you play with him, or you both lose, just like we did. No way. We'll play another round. The earliest kitchenware appeared about 7,000 years ago. Early people made these containers from stone or wood. Another kind of container for holding food was woven baskets. The baskets would be lined with clay for durability. Once, one of these baskets fell into a bonfire, and lo and behold, the wood on the outside burned away, while the clay was now hard as a rock. That discovery led to the invention of clay pottery that is still in use to this very day. Later on came the development of glass, metal, and cast iron cookware. The world's richest people can even have food served to them on dishes of silver or gold. Today, kitchenware is not only a practical convenience, but it can decorate any home as well. Forget it. This is impossible. Let's just tell them we give up. Zimka, how come this button is crooked and not sticking out? Because the button got jammed! Yeah! No way! You figured out what was wrong! I'm glad I kept dragging this around. Diddy! One. Papus, two, we fixed everything! Really? Three, Does this mean you're playing with him? Four, what? You think we're some quitters? Ha! Then which one of us is the Ready winner? Or not, here I come. Let's call it a draw. Each team gets one wish. Our team mm. wants you to fix my app. Uh -huh. And you finish this game with him. Piece, Piece of, of cake. cake. 